Hey guys, we'll be just testing out the Nokia Drive app that we are posting about. So, this is the main interface that you get. And now we know where I live. So, this is the map. You can go into manage maps and add maps for offline usage. So you can go into Australia and download Australia. So it'll tell you how much it is. It's 187 MB. And you can choose to install it. And you gotta stay on the screen while it downloads because if you try to jump out, it'll tell you that it'll cancel the download. So depending on the size of the map that you're downloading, you might have to stay on the screen for a while. And as you can see, once the download has been completed it'll start installing those maps to your device and as you can see the installation is about to be completed and now that has been completed and similarly you can add more maps if you want so if you want to go to Europe and pick any one of the countries that are supported Or if you want to go into America, you could do that as well. So, for example, the USA map, you can download it by country, uh, states, I guess, or the whole country as one. And uh, let's go back in and see what the map app looks like. So you can choose landmarks on or off, and you can choose that between day and night and of course zoom in zoom out all works you can use the buttons here to zoom in and zoom out and to give you a quick idea of what the 2d and 3d maps look like so this is the 2d map and switching over to 3d you will see that some of the key buildings are put in a 3D fashion. So this is the Flinders Street Station in Melbourne. And you'll see that St. Paul's Cathedral and a few other places, they will be marked in 3D. So yeah, that is a quick look at the 3D feature on the Nokia Drive maps. So jumping into the main area, So you can choose a location and it'll give you a list of the things that it finds. So if I want to go to Preston, which is just down here, it'll show me the map. And the different options that are there. So let's drive to Bell Street in Preston. And if you click on start, as long as you have a voice installed, it'll start it up. Otherwise, you are given an option to download it. And you can choose whichever one you want. And once downloaded, it should automatically install it. Now turn right. So as you can see, it works pretty well. And so this is one of the things that Nokia was having as an exclusive for their device and I'm not really sure how happy they will be to see this. So that is a quick look at the Nokia Drive app that was recently hacked on two other Windows Phone devices. So as you can see, it's running on an Omnia 7. And yeah, thanks for watching.